Hey everyone, it's Ben and today we're going to take a look at an upgraded product that we've looked at before, the camp stove by Biolite. It's a fantastic stove. I keep it in my car and I use it quite a bit. Love it. I love the fact that there's basically no cleanup to it. It's very easy to start. It runs very hot very quick to boil up water and the coolest feature is that it can charge your USB devices. The Camp Stove 2 combines the capabilities of their cook stove which is no longer made and their original camp stove and now they have a built-in battery bank so not only can it charge your devices directly but it's also going to charge that battery bank while you're cooking or while you're using the stove meaning that later you can offload that power into one of your devices. Let's take a closer look at the all-new Camp Stove and its upgraded features. So as I said, the original lives in my get home bag, which I keep in my car at all times. It's a perfect stove for that, whether you whip it out when you're camping, you need that, uh, you know, you need a quick boil up or you just want to do some quick cooking. You don't want to start a whole fire. BioLite works great for that. And then of course, in an emergency situation, you've got a way burning sticks, sticks and twigs to charge your device, whether it be a camera, your cell phone, a GPS unit, anything that you need, you can uh, get a quick charge using this. Now this is the older version and this is the newer version. The new version actually weighs the same amount, but they've upgraded the features. So we're gonna take a look at that. One of the things that I really like about the camp stove is that it's very, very easy to clean. There's really no maintenance and no cleaning. When you're done, you simply just dump out the ash. It's so efficient that it'll burn right down to nothing. And then you just dump that out and stick the other part in, in there and stuck, stuff it in the stuff sack. So no cleaning or no scrubbing like you would have to do with other small stoves. Now it's not quite backpacking size, or, or weight, I suppose you could take it backpacking, but for short day hikes, or again for car camping, or for just an additional stove you wanna keep in the car. These BioLite stoves are super simple to set up as well. You simply just pull the, uh, the generator piece out of there, sticks right into the side, and then on the bottom here, once you flip over this bottom aluminum leg, it locks it into place so it's not coming off of there, and then you just flip out the two other legs, and you're ready to go ready to start cooking. You just do the reverse steps to fold it back up, put it in the stuff sack, and you're good to go. So if we look at these two stoves side by side, you can see that the cooking chamber is the exact size. It looks like the uh, thermocoupler or thermogenerator, whatever you call that piece there, that collects the heat and turns it into energy, is a little bit thicker uh, than the older one. So the changes on the new one are that they have that larger generator there, so it's more efficient. They've added four fan speeds instead of two fan speeds. You basically just had high and low on the original. So you have four different fan speeds on here. And then the biggest thing is that they have a built-in battery bank in here. So whereas this one would just charge your devices directly, you had to be burning for it to charge. This one will actually store the power in the built-in battery bank. It's a 2600 milliamp battery bank. Uh, so it'll store it up in that. And then you can use the device to charge your uh, cell phone, your other electronics, even when you're not burning. So you could burn this during the day, have your campfire, boil your water, and then either direct charge or dump that charge into device later. On the front of the old model here, you have the power button here, you have your high and low indicators, and then you have your USB output. Whereas on the new version, you have the power button, the USB output as well right below, and then you have three indicators here, one for the level of burn or the intensity of your burn, one for each of the four fan settings, and then one for the status of your integrated battery bank. The new Camp Stove 2 will also work with all the older accessories, such as the grill top and the BioLite kettle, which you can also nest the stove inside. So I moved over to a shady spot here so that you can see the LED indicators when we get this thing going. Now when you purchase your uh, BioLite stove, you're going to get some of their fire starter, which goes in a hurry. You're going to get the uh, little micro USB cable so that you can output to micro USB or of course use whatever cable you want. But the micro USB is also how you charge the, uh, the battery bank. So if you want to just keep it charged without even uh, using the stove to charge it, you can do that as well, which is nice. And then you also get their little flex light. This thing is pretty cool. It plugs right in to the uh, stove into the USB and then it's rather rigid so you can move this and uh, not only use it for a light but when you're cooking you can shine some light on your uh, 
on your meal there as well. So that's pretty cool. Now on the old BioLite, it was super simple to get started. You simply just put some uh, tinder in there, get it going, and then the uh, fan will actually kick on by itself. So we'll see if, uh, if this unit performs the same way. So very easy to get started. I just lit one of these little fire starters. I'm just gonna drop that down in there and then just start adding my smaller stuff. And the old stove kicked on once the, uh, the unit sensed that there was heat there. The fans kicked on, so we'll see if that is the same with this stove. But it's so efficient that it just makes it so easy, so clean burning, and uh, it just produces a super hot amount of, uh, a, amount of heat. So the, uh, the four settings instead of two, as far as the temperature control goes, should be pretty awesome as well. So it did kick on there. It kicked on on low, which I doubt you can even hear. It is very quiet. The other one, I didn't mind the noise. You had the low and the high on the other one. And again, I didn't mind that fan noise, but this one being on low is very, very tolerable. And you can see that I'm already getting sort of that fire tornado there, even on low. So you can go ahead and crank this up here. We can kick it up to uh, the next level. Keep going up on to level three and then on up to its highest. And that fire is raging right now. You can see it's just vortexing. And uh, you know, if you were boiling water, that would be about the only thing that you would wanna use that really high setting for. Otherwise, it seems to have a lower setting than the old one. So that is very cool as well. Hopefully you guys can see the status indicators there. The burn indicator on the left is all the way up. The fan indicator is all the way up and then you have the blinking light on the right that is the internal battery bank now I did not charge this battery bank at all before use so it is on its lowest level and now again you can direct charge as I'm doing to my cell phone right now but it'll also store power in the battery bank for later use so with the built-in battery bank you don't need to be burning a fire in order to charge your devices as long as you have some power in that battery bank you tap the button once and it's going to start charging your devices if you were hooked up to the stove and you wanted to start the fan, you simply just double click the, uh, the button there and the fan will turn on. But you do not need the fan in order to charge your device. You simply just hit the button once and that will activate the battery bank mode. Very, very cool. Now you can either let your fire burn all the way down to ash, which it will do, or you can simply just dump the contents out. The fan will stay on for a few minutes just to cool down the cylinder enough to touch and pack away so i hope you guys enjoyed the video today taking a look at the all-new camp stove 2 from biolite again it's one of my favorite stoves it's a little gimmicky maybe to some but to me to have it in the car be able to get that emergency charge just by burning biofuels which here in michigan are all over the place i can in no time flat collect a ton of tiny sticks get a little fire going and give my cell phone or other device that charge it needs to power up and maybe make an emergency call often when camping the next day for example when we're packing up our gear maybe we don't want to light a whole brand new campfire let it burn out pour water on it so this stove is something i can just grab quickly from my car we can get a quick boil or we can even cook on it without having to start that large bonfire so in my opinion some key things that were upgraded make this stove even better with the built-in battery bank the more efficient charging and the multiple levels that you can set the fan on again it's a win in my book for a portable or a survival type stove so of course i'm going to put some links below to amazon where you guys can check out more specs as well as pick one up for yourself hope you guys enjoyed the video today please give it a big thumbs up for me make sure you leave me a comment below on what you think about the biolite cam stove too i know i love both models also, you can share this video to your friends and family who might be interested on your social media. And as always, click that red subscribe button on my channel to subscribe for more videos.